One misconception we get a lot is that the cord is going to be an issue. Uh, you're going to be on a big elk hunt up in the mountains and you're going to run a broadhead across it and uh, it's going to ruin your hunt. Or you're going to catch it on something, it's going to snag, ruin your hunt. It's, uh, it's really not an issue. It's never been an issue for me. I've hunted all over. I've never had anyone call in and say that that core was actually a, you know, a, a big issue. Now, think about with a cable driven rest. If you happen to run a broadhead across that or snag it on something and cut it uh, when you're up in the high country, when you're anywhere, you're going to be out of uh, commission for a while. Definitely probably longer than five minutes. So I'm going to simulate with a limb driven rest if your cord gets cut you know how uh, how you can repair it and how quickly you can repair it. I'm going to shoot an arrow uh, at 40 yards here. I'm going to start a timer. I'm going to cut my cord and repair it, and then I'm going to shoot another arrow so you can see the point of impact doesn't change. So here's the timer. Start. ahead and cut the cord. On my pack, I always have a wrench and some extra D-loop. So what I'm going to do is loosen my cord. My cord bolt that's on here, take off that piece Take off the top piece, get rid of that. Now I'm going to retie my spare cord on here. Just like I always do. Tighten that down. Now I'm going to run this. Right around my launcher. And go ahead and tighten her down. Again, my launcher cord, activation cord isn't overly tight, just tight enough to hold it in the down position. Go ahead, grab another arrow. So two minutes and may as well say 20 seconds. Now we'll go down, check out where I hit. Hopefully somewhere in the kill zone. Okay, I'm shooting a little high, but obviously my point of impact didn't change it at all. They're right there together. And uh, less than three minutes, you're back up and going. It's advantage of a limb-driven rest.